Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I do apologize first and foremost, I haven't been filming lately. It's just that life is taking away all of that. Uh, and I do hope you guys understand that, you know, there is life outside of YouTube. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyways, today's video, um, as promised in my previous one, is that I would do a swatch of all the ColourPop products. As you can see, they're all in there. Um, at least the ones that I bought. Uh, these were bought with my own money. Um, by no means is this a sponsored video. This is all based on my opinion. And I'll show you guys all the full swatches, um, things like that. Um, anyways, I just want to let you guys know it is now 10.02 in the uh, evening and it's Sunday. So happy Easter to all of you out there in the world if you guys celebrate Easter. Uh, regardless if you do or don't, I hope you guys get a lot of chocolate, tons of food, and uh, things like that. Other than that, let's get right into it. So first and foremost, everything is a, a matte, the ultra matte lip, except for three, which are the new ultra satin lip products. I didn't buy the full one, um, only because the other items from there weren't my cup of tea. But anyways, for those of you who don't know what ColourPop is, it is a cosmetic line, um, very popular on YouTube, um, very affordable. They are located in Southern California, in case you guys didn't know. Um, let's see, I did get a pamphlet that comes with any product that you get and a little custom card. Um, you know, it'll tell you tips and tricks so using their shadows, um, their cheek products, um, their color cream gel liner and pencils, um, the lippy sticks and pencils, the ultra matte, which by the way, I'm going to explain it to you, ultra matte lip. This thin and lightweight formula glides onto the lips smoothly and leaves super intense pigment, rich color with a bold ultra matte look. It's a very long way and completely kiss proof. So how you apply it is just like any lip lacquer, like the Anastasia's ones or um, NYX, things like that, is as long as your lips are prepped, you know, like lip balm, like this one that I'm going to be using every time because these are matte. Um, you know, you want to prep it, make sure they're nice and smooth before you put any matte lip product or any lip product in general, just so it has a smooth, consistent, uh, you know, consistent um, application, um, things like that. Um, but you know, you guys should know already. Always exfoliate your lips. You know, two times a week. You know, or once a week, uh, if, especially if you guys do wear these products all the time um, but yeah anyways let's see I don't know where to start there's so many okay I'm just gonna pull one out of the bunch all right so this first one is called the uh, LAX or LAX I think it's based off of the um, Los Angeles International Airport in Southern California so I'm gonna take it out so it looks like this it's a nice um, deep red but it has a brown undertone uh, lip product or lip color um, again this is LAX in number 6C04 right there uh, let me take out the lip product I have hold on someone's on the phone Okay, now that's done. Just wanted to see if there's any scent to it. I guess not. Um, it does come in a doe foot applicator. It looks like that. Your typical lip gloss style um, application. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. Um, and then I'll do the rest all the way through. And then in the end, I'll give you my two cents give you guys my opinion and maybe you guys like it if there's some things I don't 
I'll let you guys know. As you guys already know, I, I am quite honest uh, the, on the products that I, I do review. So let's get right into it. I just realized maybe I should have done lighter colors first before the dark ones because I know this is going to stain or stain. But first impression, easy application, very true matte, very matte. So let's go to the next one. Well then, lesson learned, do lighter colors first. <laughs> um, so far. Even one product, I'm surprised how well pigmented these are. Very easy to use and stuff. So, um, let's see. Next one I'm gonna use is called Beeper. Looks like this. The next one is called Lumiere 2. Looks like this. Another pretty nude, purpley tone color. The next one is called Trap. I'm sorry if my dog's barking. He thinks there's like someone out there, but there isn't any. Anyways, this is called Trap. The next one is called Creeper. It's a nice berry, not berry, bright red color. The next one is called Bad Habit. It looks more red on there, but it's not, I promise you.
The next one is called More Better. It's a very nice berry color. The next one is called Rooch, which is part of the Karuchi line. Looks like this. It's similar to one of the other ones I'll mention down below, but it's not. Uh, It's a very nice color. I can see it's starting to... The deeper color is starting to ruin my outside of my lips. Next, it's called Gifts. It's a very purpley color. Looks black on the screen, but I promise you it's not. Last but not least from the Ultra Matte line is a very fun color, it's called Dr. M and it's a green blue undertone, kind of like a blue teal but deeper color, it's really pretty. So the next ones are three from the Ultra Satin Lip. I didn't get the others because they were kind of similar to each other. Or at least the ones with the matte version, so let's get into that. First, it's called Lion King. Uh, I do want to tell you that the packaging are similar. Um, here's the matte one. And here's the Ultra Satin one. Uh, the only difference is the back. This is the matte and this is the satin. So they both are color coordinated, which is great. Again, this is called Lion King. Looks like this. Some of these colors are similar to the matte, um, but I'm pretty sure they are different all on its own.
Um, I would tell you what the styling lips are, but I'm pretty sure it's self-explanatory when you saw this lip product. Um, <laughs> after trying the other products, it's starting to wear out on my lips, but I don't know if it's because of my lip balm. But it's not um, sticky. The, the matte ones aren't sticky either. But uh, it does have that sheen to it um, as expected because these are satin. So they're kind of like in between, um, between matte and like glossy. I actually love it already. Just as much as I do with the mattes. Um, but yeah, this one is called Lion King. Next is called Frick and Frack. It's a nice nude color. This one for some reason has scents on it compared to the matte. Either that or maybe there's something wrong with me, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I like to smell things, so. Certain things. Don't twist my words now. <laughs> And last but not least, from the ColourPop products that I bought, um, this is the Ultra Sand Lip. The last one is called Cozy. It's a nice corally color. It looks brighter on there, um, but it actually is more coral. Less tone, I must say. Um, it's not one of those, dang, that now that's bright, but this one's like a little more toned down, just a little bit. The tooth is a little different than I thought it would be. So that's pretty much it with all the products from the ColourPop um, cosmetic line. Um, I've yet to get the eyeshadows and stuff. Obviously, I hear great stuff about them, including the face products and now their new product, the brow products. Um, overall, I am very pleased with the products that I got um, based on what I like, what I think I will wear. I know the purple and the green one, the green one, Dr. M. Uh, <laughs> obviously, that's kind of out of an average person's comfort zone but it'd be great to use if you're you know going out for um, hollow you know for Halloween and you're dressing up or um, as like a little touch of different color if you mix these products together on your lip and do like some kind of ombre effect I think that will look gorgeous on almost anybody all these products will work with anybody any skin tone um, any under skin tone whether you have yellow or pink or neutral um, these products are, I can tell already, will be long lasting, especially the matte ones. Um, it seems to hold well on its own. While I was trying to, you know, in between clips, you know, showing you guys uh, the, the products, I've noticed that it's harder to remove, um, you know, on, on these products. Um, so you might want to use some kind of makeup remover. Um, some of you, I know you probably don't like the oil-based one uh, as a makeup remover, but nevertheless, something to remove it so it doesn't, you know, uh, so you don't have to ruin your lips, uh, lack for a better wording. Um, what helped was the lip balm. Uh, as you guys already know, this is like my holy grail 
the real salve and um, that thing saved my life <laughs> every time I try to switch colors out to show you guys um, do keep in mind these products are six dollars each um, each product where did it go? contains 3.2 grams or 0.11 ounces um, they are located in Southern California so if you're in California in general um, they don't take long to get to your house it's the processing that takes the longest and I know I hate waiting too um, what else I do love their packaging their packaging is awesome um, I'm gonna show you this one the Packaging looks like this it has that metallic wording on there I don't know if you could see the white box right here it's like matte with glossy spot UV type on there and um, as I said the matte ones have that pink end to it um, but the satin ones are more of a lime green um, luckily they label it on here too they also label it on the on the actual um, product itself as well uh, other than that again overall pleased with what I have received I hope you guys find this review helpful um, the full swatches keep in mind I am medi medium tone um, when it's winter time I can get quite light uh, by the time summer comes I am gonna get a little bit more tanner especially over here because you know when you be driving you get that car tan um, or for me I call it the seatbelt tan because you know that seatbelt but um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up um, if this is helpful for you guys and if you liked it. Subscribe if you've not done so already. And for those of you who don't know, hi, hello, hola, como estas? Um, that's like the only words I know in Spanish, but I'm Alta for those of you who don't know. Um, let me zoom you out, guys. This is a little too close. Much better. Okay, guys. Like, subscribe, find me on Twitter and Instagram at Altamese Beauty, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!